now I can take the connect and animate a Mexamo character. So how does that work? Well, I have the connect SDK. And if I turn off my model, you can see here's the connect skeleton. And then I took a Mixmo character and mapped that connect skeleton to the Mixmo character with this custom script here. OK, in this auto rig script, the first thing that it takes is the connect skeleton. That's where we get our source skeleton here. Uh, basically, the connect script has all the different bones defined here. And I just take those. And then I need the target skeleton. So this is the Mixamo skeleton, the hips right underneath the model. And then I use the closest matching uh, bone on, on each skeleton using their physical, using world space to do the bone matching. I have a script to control the mappings between the source and target skeleton. All right, so the way it works is once these are meta references are assigned, then I can auto map it and it finds the based on distance the closest bone for each skeleton. You can spot check it here hand with hand, knees, legs, feet, all that kind of thing. All right, once that's done, then I just assign the mappings. The mappings get assigned in the, the controller script here that has the mappings. OK, now I'll hit play and look at the scene. All right, you go in the connect pose. There we go. And now the connect skeleton is mapped to the Mixmo skeleton. All right, so you can see it's mapped. All right. So now that the skeleton's mapped, I'll be recording keyframes in the animation, and I can mix and match. So for the legs, I can use existing idle leg animations, but I might want to like customize looking at a book or doing something with my hands for various characters. And now I can use the Connect skeleton for that. All right, thanks for watching.